Hello, this is John from Metro CSG. In this video, I'd like to walk you through the contacts feature of the Office 365 web portal. So here we are on the home page, and we can access our contacts by clicking the People tile. And this brings us to our contacts page in Office 365. You can see here we have our contacts list. It shows everybody listed alphabetically by their first name. Though if we'd like to change this, we can click by first name at the top of the list, and we get several sort options to help us view our contacts. We can change the display and go to people and lists, which we'll get into in a little bit, and the display order of listing the first name and then the last name, or the last name and then the first name. And then we have the sort order where we can view everything arranged by the first name or the last name. And then finally, we can sort by a few other details, such as the company that the contacts work for, their home city, their work city, and how recently they were added. We'll leave it as is. You can also click the letter here in the list to give us a shortcut to a different letter. So if we click F, it takes us right to F. So you can see we, here we have our contact Alan selected. And when we have a contact selected, we have a few options up at the top. We can edit and delete, and we can add them to our favorites. So if we click edit, we see we have a bit of different options to choose from. First name, last name, email, their display name, their phone number, their IM address, and then a bunch of other details that we can choose to fill in if we'd like. But we'll click cancel there. Now, in addition to selecting one contact at a time, we also have the option to select several at once by clicking the checkbox on the left. So if we click three of our contacts here, bring them all up on the right, and we have the option to send an email to all three of them instead of adding them all manually into an email. So if we click send email, we see that we have them already populated into our to section. And then we can go draft an email with a subject and message. Now if we want to create a new contact, we can go up to the top left where it says new and click contact. This brings up a similar form that we saw before featuring the first name, last name, email, and all that other data that was included in Alan's contact form. We'll click Cancel. Another option we have is to create a contacts list. We can create a contacts list by going to the same new option in the top left and clicking contacts list. This will be a set group that you can choose to send a mass email to. We can name this email party planning committee and add several members from our company to it. When you search within your contacts, they should auto-populate. We can also add notes, so we have a bit of context for what this list is for. And once we're ready, we can click Save, and that'll appear in our contacts list. And that's just about everything you need to know about using your contacts list. This has been John from Metro CSG. Thank you for watching.